So today we're going to be flying tons of rockets from the smallest all the way to the biggest ones, seeing what damage this rocket does to a human and exploding rockets with missiles, starting from this one. This is the Delta Clipper standing at 13 meters tall. It's the first rocket to launch and land itself vertically. It was made in the 90s and had only a few test flights a bit before the Falcon 9 ever landed. Yeah. Now, for those who don't know, Juno is kind of a more advanced version of SFS and they have their own programming model inside of the game. So let's give that a try with this rocket. I just have to sit back and it will steer all by itself and separate all the stages when needed. So let's put this to the test and see how far we can get with it. Yep, you've probably guessed it, it's the Electron rocket standing at 21 meters. There's our stage separation, and finally fairings and there's our satellite on to the next one now we have this rocket we are going to launch it off a boat so let's set out from port with our ship and now we are finally in place it's time to launch this thing and oh what's that on the side of it anyways next up we have this fan made mars lander i think the design of it looks really cool and let's see what we can do with it and it's off now, Juno has a free version of the game with a few cheap bundles. Without them, you're not really limited. So there's stage separation. I think we're going to land on the moon. Getting closer. And there we go. We have touchdown. Now, we have a plane on the runway with some missiles inside of it. So let's see if this rocket is going to be able to survive these missiles. And here we go. Now open the bay. And drop. Wow, that was a big explosion. I don't think there was any chances of that surviving. And the rocket's gone. There was no way it was going to survive that explosion. But let's wait and see if our astronaut will survive Starship. Now, I'm sure you've seen this rocket before, the Buran. The Soviet Union's version of the space shuttle. We're gonna launch it off. Here we go. Now, let's attach the boosters. And finally, after we re-enter the atmosphere, we can splash down in the water getting closer now and there we go now before we get onto starship it's time to roll out the tanks and see what damage we can do let's line it up with the rockets aim and there we go let's have a look at what damage has been done here that one's pretty broken now finally it's time for the starship so let's put our astronaut under the orbital launch mount now we're going to see at what temperature the astronaut will explode or if it will at all now let's turn these engines on and whoa, we can see the heat increasing there. Look at that. How is it still alive? And wow, it's exploded just like that. Now, before you go, we'll be giving away the full version of Juno for free. You can enter it in the description down below. And thanks once again to Juno for sponsoring.